to offer you some tea, Miss Fairfax. Thank you. Detestable girl. I <laughs> 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 my parents. To lose one parent, Mr. Worthing, may be regarded as a misfortune. To lose both looks like carelessness. <laughs> <laughs> you dear romantic boy. I hope your hair curls naturally, does it? Yes, darling, with a little help from others. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never break off our engagement again, Cecily. I don't think I could break it off now that I have actually met you. <laughs> of your name. Yes, of course. You must not laugh at me, darling, but it had always been a girlish dream of mine to love someone whose name was Ernest. <laughs> <laughs> you have been christened already. Yes, but I haven't been christened for years. Yes, but you have been christened. <laughs> that is the important thing. Quite so, so I know my constitution can stand it. <laughs> you are not quite sure about your ever having been christened. I think it rather dangerous you're venturing on it now. <laughs> Might make you very unwell. You can hardly have forgotten that someone very closely connected with you was very nearly carried off this week in Paris by a severe chill. <laughs> yes, but you said yourself that the severe chill was not hereditary. It used to be, I know, but I dare say it is now. 